For centuries, mankind treated the earth and its resources as if they would never run out and poured waste products away as though they would simply be absorbed and taken care of by nature. Today, all that is changing. Today, we understand that the planet's resources are limited and that the environment can be damaged forever unless we give it our care and attention. The sea is one of our most precious environmental resources. It covers around 70% of our planet's surface and supports global society in so many different ways. The world's oceans provide raw materials, energy, food, employment, a place to live, a place to relax, and the means to transport about 90% of global trade. But the sea needs protection, and in some areas that need is particularly great because of their ecological, socio-economic or scientific significance, some sea areas that are vulnerable to damage from international maritime activities require special protection. IMO, the International Maritime Organization, has established a mechanism by which these so-called particularly sensitive sea areas, PSSAs, can be identified and formally designated, together with special protective measures that ships have to follow. So far, 14 PSSAs have been identified and designated. They include some of the world's best known and most iconic maritime locations, such as the Great Barrier Reef off the coast of Australia, the seas surrounding the Florida Keys and the Galapagos Islands. In each case, special protective measures have also been approved and adopted, often involving the compulsory routing of ships to avoid altogether these uniquely vulnerable and valuable areas. IMO's PSSA program is a tremendously valuable tool to help protect the environment and it reflects just how important this aspect of the organization's mandate has become. There is no other global mechanism that brings together so many different aspects about international shipping, safety and environmental protection. It allows all stakeholders to have a say to identify the best solution for the environment and for the shipping industry. And in the future, we expect other locations to be put forward for consideration as PSSAs, thus extending still further the network of areas that enjoy a special level of environmental protection. Mankind must continue to develop, but what we now understand is that our development in the future must take full account of finite and diminishing resources and a fragile environment. In short, our development must be sustainable. IMO's programme to protect particularly sensitive sea areas is an essential element of sustainable development for a better planet and a brighter future.